Hey, so for today's video I thought that I would kind of continue off from a video that I've done before in the past. Before I did trying on prom dresses that I bought from eBay, which was a really popular video on my channel, so I thought I would carry that on a little bit but do something different. So I'm going to be trying on shoes that I've bought from eBay recently. All credit for this video idea goes to Roxaurus, this is where I saw the idea for the video. I'm not sure if she got it from somewhere else or not but that's where I saw it, so yeah. Three of the pairs of shoes I bought are fake replicas. So really expensive shoes normally or semi expensive shoes normally that have been like recreated as a fake shoe on ebay <laughs> and then one pair is just like an additional pair that i liked so i bought them okay so these are all the shoes i have there's four pairs in total so these are fake converse and they come in some converse tissue paper and this is what they look like these cost me a total of 12 pounds and 3p with free delivery these are obviously a replica of the converse low top just the plain white ones they have the converse sign on the back and they have the converse on the tongue as well and I think these look pretty legit. I mean, I have a pair of Converse. Actually, I'm gonna go get them so I can compare. So excuse the absolute state of my real Converse, but these are well loved. They're really old and I really need to wash them. But anyway, <laughs> just to compare, this is the real Converse and this is the fake. So at first glance, obviously, despite the dirt, I think they do look really similar. So on the back, the real one says All Star, but it doesn't say Converse All Star, whereas this one does. I'm not sure whether they've changed it because these are quite old. So I'm going to post a picture of what these look like now, like for sale now, because these are so old. I'm not sure whether they've changed the design slightly. But again, on the tongue of the real ones, it just says All Star. And on the fake ones, it says Converse All Star. Again, not sure whether that's just my pair. The bottom actually looks really, really similar. I can't really see much difference at all between them. The writing on this one's a little bit smaller, but like, who's gonna notice that really? All the linings and the colors and stuff are actually pretty much spot on, so I'm really impressed with this so far. On the inside, the fake one looks like that, and the real one looks like that. So, I mean, basically the same. <laughs> and to be honest, the main reason why I really wanted these is because these shoes, which are the real Converse, I've had them for about five years. I still wear them all the time because I do really like them, but they still give me the worst blisters ever if I wear them too far. It's not like I don't wear them enough because I should have way broken them in by now. Like I've had these for five years and I still wear them a lot, but they just give me really bad blisters and it, they do fit me and that's what I'm confused about. So it's not like they don't fit me because they do, but I just get blisters on my little toes. I got another pair of like fake Converse, which weren't branded or anything like this. They were just literally white pumps, kind of, from Primark that had the blue and the red. And they are so much more comfortable, so I always wear those despite having real Converse. It's really annoying. So now I've got these, which actually look like real Converse, and hopefully they weren't gonna be blisters, but yeah. So this next pair come in a box that looks like this. Oh. I freaking love these. <laughs> so these are obviously a fake replica of the Gucci B trainers. These ones cost me £16.88 plus £1.99 postage on eBay. I really love the Gucci trainers. I'll post a picture obviously, but I just really love the design. I think they look really cool. But there's no way I'm gonna be spending £500 on a pair of shoes. That's just not me. So the real versions are called the Gucci Ace Embroidered Sneakers. At first glance, these do look really similar to the real Gucci Ace Embroidered Sneakers. However, there are some differences, obviously. The little ribbon that you have on the side of these ones is black, whereas on the real shoes, they are green and red, obviously the Gucci colors. On the back of these, you've just got the red and green kind of snakeskin effect. But on the real trainers, it obviously says Gucci on the back of the heel as well, whereas these ones don't. Obviously, I don't have the real ones to really do like an in-depth comparison, but hopefully from the pictures, you can see the similarities and the differences between the shoes. Next up I have this box and inside are these. <laughs> so these are pink pom-pom slip-on trainer things and I really love these. So these ones were the cheapest that I bought. These were $8.99 plus $1.99 postage. And I just thought they'd be really good to like throw on and go to the shop or something because I don't like fiddling around with laces and stuff if I'm just going somewhere really quick or like taking out the bins or something like that. I don't think these are trying to be like a fake version of anything designer. But they do feel like suede and they've got this little furry pom-pom on top and they look really sturdy from the bottom as well actually, like they're good thick quals. I showed these to Dan and he absolutely hated them, he was like don't ever wear those in front of me. <laughs> uh, so I'll be wearing these anyway because I love them. 
I also realised the other day that I actually don't have anything pink. And I do like pink, so I'm going to try and incorporate it into my wardrobe a little bit more. I just don't think it really suits me. But I think with shoes is a good place to start because it's not like a huge purchase or anything. So yeah, I love my little pink pom-pom shoes. So the last box, which is kind of the showstopper, is the fake Yeezy Boost 350s. This comes in a box which genuinely looks like the legit Yeezy Boost 350 box. I went for the white ones because those are the ones I like the best and that's the colour I would go for if I was actually going to get the Yeezy shoes, which I never would because they're so expensive. These fake ones from eBay cost £25.69p on eBay, including postage. However, there were cheaper ones, but they were different colours that I didn't really like, like grey and orange and stuff, so for the white ones, I had to pay a little bit more. Again, I obviously don't have the real ones to compare with, but from looking at pictures and stuff online, I think they do look really similar. The biggest difference I could probably say is that the white um, rubber bit on the bottom looks a bit off-white in these, and I think the real things are probably a lot whiter. But you can buy things to make them, obviously, more white. The other thing is that the laces don't have, like, metal rings in them, it's just a hole that's been cut. I'm not sure whether that's on the real thing either, but I'm guessing it's not. But on the inside it says Adidas and Yeezy, on the bottom it says Boost, and I don't know, these just, I can't really see anything that would make me think that these were fake if I saw them on someone else. It says Supply 350 on the side there, but it's not very obvious because it's obviously all white so you can't really see, but that looks like to be the case on the real shoes as well. But I do think it's really weird on eBay how they can get away with just selling like blatantly fake things. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, I thought it would make a good video, so. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out anything that I showed, I will put all the links in the description box below. Just to put it out there as well, I'm not trying to promote fake items or anything like that. But I think I can speak for a lot of people when I say that not everyone wants to spend a thousand pounds plus on shoes. I'm simply just making this video out of interest. I wanted to see what these fake shoes were going to be like and I just happened to quite like them. So I am not trying to promote fake items at all. Like obviously if you can buy the real thing, great, that's better. But a lot of people can't so it's nice to kind of show you what they're like at least. If you like the video and you would like me to do kind of more eBay themed videos then make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what your favourite pair of shoes that I showed was. If you haven't already and you would like to please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!